a demonstrably brutal Russian crime. That was how Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky described a missile attack on a cafe and grocery shop in the village of Hrosa. Dozens were killed. They'd reportedly gathered in the buildings to hold a memorial service. This man said the village was home to only around 350 people. Ukrainian military officials said it's the deadliest attack in the Kharkiv region since Russia's invasion more than 19 months ago. It also appeared to be one of the biggest civilian death tolls in any single Russian strike since the start of the war. The attack came as Zelensky had travelled to Grenada for Thursday's meeting of the European political community. He was here asking for more help, more money, more weapons and more support. Russia will, will attack by information, disinformation, by, by fakes and etc. And uh, that is the first thing. The second, so, so important for Ukraine to have a uh, defending shield for the winter because in winter we will have uh, many attacks by different si different kinds of uh, Russian missiles, including Iranian drones and etc. Praying European unity has been in the spotlight. There's disagreement on the continent over the migration crisis, as well as security issues in the Balkans and Karabakh. But there are growing fears too among Europe's leaders about Ukraine's future and whether it will one day join the EU. The European political community was established last year following Russia's invasion. That was ostensibly to foster cooperation among more than 40 countries. This forum, this European political community, is the expression of the common goal, to collaborate to create the Europe of the future, whether we are members of the European Union or not. Worries about aid for Ukraine have been exacerbated by the political storm in the US, but cracks in support have also appeared in Europe. The fissures deepened last weekend after pro-Russian former Prime Minister Robert Fico won an election in Slovakia on pledges to end military aid to Kyiv. European leadership has said it's still exploring ways to unlock 50 billion euros for Ukraine from 2024. This is very important because Ukraine needs predictability and reliability in the direct budget support. Um, as far as I oversee the situation in the United States, I am very confident um, of support for Ukraine from the United States. Individual countries have since made further pledges of support. A Spanish government source said Madrid would provide air defense and anti-drone systems to Ukraine, as well as training for Ukrainian soldiers in how to use them. That came before additional promises of equipment and funding from Germany and the UK. Zelensky says Ukraine needs more though and fast, warning that Russia may be able to restore its military capabilities by 2028 if it doesn't come soon enough. The question here in Grenada is whether Europe is united enough to help. For the village of Hrosa, it's already too late. Joel Flynn, TRT World, Grenada in Spain.